Hey book besties, it's me and welcome to my channel! Q in the Six of Crows. <laughs> Just kidding. So I got a new tripod and I'm trying it out so it's easier to hold so yay for that! So this is my new hair color that I don't like that much. It's darker than the old one so let's see if I'm going to color it eventually. Yay! <laughs> so you guys, since we've been hauling books that we haven't read, but anyway, at least it's there in our bookshelf. So yeah, I just want to read all the time, but you know, school doesn't allow us to, so... Well. Okay, so... This is my bookshelf. It's a hanging bookshelf, so I can't film anything with it <laughs> as a background, because it's so far. So this is my bookshelf. It's actually three shelves, but the topmost part is for my academic books. So we're not going to touch that. It's gonna be left unbothered. <laughs> so ha, no judging please. So I think it's not that messy yet. I just stacked them from before, from my last rearranging. But since um, there are more books now and I just had to like pile them on top of the others. And it's not pleasing to the eyes. I don't like it, so we're gonna rearrange them right now. So yeah, here are the books placed down from the bookshelf. Yay! Okay guys, since there's only a limited space, there's only two shelves for it. So I think I'm gonna have to go with stocking my books. Anyway, yeah, that's fine. Let's just wait for blessings of new bookshelves. <laughs> so like, before putting them back up on the bookshelves, we'll have to dust them first. Because, you know, years and months of being unbothered on the bookshelf got them dusty. So, we're gonna have to dust them first before giving them new arrangements on the bookshelf. So, yeah, I think I'm gonna have to show you guys um, the books that I own. It's not a lot compared to the others, but this is just what I have, okay? Don't make me cry. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love every single one of you. And the others, actually the others, I got them for a cheaper price because they were on sale and you know like not everybody reads books anymore. And I know you guys can totally relate to this that I think when there are readers, they call us weird. No, you're weird for not reading a book. My IRLs don't read the books that I read so I don't have much friends to talk about with um, regarding books so yeah this is why I created my accounts my bookstagram my book twitter and especially booktube because like I get to connect with a lot of you a lot of people who are like me who still read books in this generation it's actually still fun though so I don't know why people neglect book reading so yeah so guys, so I'm gonna share one of my favorite book series. It's the trial novel. See, it's all yellow. It's so old. I read this way back in grade school, I think, or early high or high school years. But yeah, since it's yellow, I'm so sorry. They're old. They're really old. So yeah, this is one of the first novels I read, and it's really nice. If I have trial moots, yeah, hello, Amanda Hawking. And I don't know if she has other books anymore. So, yeah. And of course, the <laughs> Kiraka selection. <laughs> yeah, I have almost all her books. I don't have the latest book, The Betrothed. So, yeah, we'll see if I'll still read that. So, <coughs> so I have The Siren. This was a gift. And I have the <laughs> Complete Selection series, which I bought individually. Because I bought this right... Um, when it was still newly published so yeah so there wasn't a collection yet so yeah I had to buy them individually and read them and wait for the next book every year so so my patience in high school was like girl 
Where did your patience go? So yeah, this is newly dusted. Okay, next series that I own is actually I don't have the complete series of this. It's the Canning Chronicles. It's also from Amanda Hawking. But this is um a different trilogy, I think. So I don't I haven't read the trilogy and I, I don't have the other two books, so I'm still searching for them. So this is left unread on the bookshelf. And a standalone book, which is the All the Bright Places. I know there are a lot of not nice reviews about the movie adaptation, but I haven't watched it anyway, so comment down below what are your opinions about them. I want to read your thoughts about them. Okay, next book is The Truth Witch by Susan Dennard. Um, I remember reading this for a book talk at school because our teacher made us read something every quarter. So we had to explain a book that we read and this is the book that I picked up at the bookstore. So I got it and I don't remember much from this book anymore. So I think I'm going to have you read them in time. I know there, there's a continuation of this book so we'll see. And here is a um, light read. It's Hello I Love You. If you guys want to read it, it's by KTM Stout. It's actually cute. Um, I remember this story is about a K-pop artist and an ordinary girl. So yeah, it's like it's like a Wattpad story. <laughs> so yeah, it's Hello I Love You if you guys want to read it. Okay, next books that are dusted. The Darren Shan books. See, those are... I am very old. <laughs> These are book two and three because the first book was the movie so and I couldn't find a book one of it so I just bought book two and three and yeah this I still haven't found the other books so I think I just stopped from there and the book that I found later years was book nine and I haven't read this because I haven't read books four to eight and I couldn't find the books anywhere anymore so yeah, I just had to stop. Although I know I admired the story and I love the movie characters. And here is some a uh, book that I bought at a book fair, but it's book seven to nine. So technically, I still lack books four to six. Yeah, I still haven't read the whole Cirque the Freak series by Darren Shan. Maybe if I get to find the other books, I might get back to reading them. And here is another book that was gifted to me. It's Since You've Been Gone, but I haven't finished it. I don't remember why. I think I got bored. So to those who have read this, is it nice? Is it worth reading? Should I continue it again? So comment down your thoughts on this book. Thanks. And so guys, it's still sealed. So this was also a gift to me. It's the Another Day and Every Day by David Leviton. It's still sealed. I haven't read them. Oh, I remember this book. This is by Patrick Ness, The Knife of Never Letting Go. I haven't read it, but I remember this was given by Lucy from Bookstagram. So thank you. It's still on my shelf. Unread. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I'm gonna have to read that eventually. Okay, so if you haven't watched my previous videos, that'll be in the link below. So this is from my book haul video. It's the Six of Crows duology. See, it's still left unbothered. It's still in the plastic because I'm still not reading it. I'm currently reading the Grisha trilogy. So I'm not yet there. I'm not getting this part. I have this thing that when I'm not yet gonna read a book, it's either I don't open it from the plastic or I immediately cover it with plastic covers. So it would be safe on the bookshelf. Okay, and next is the Summer I Turned Pretty series. I know it's going to be a movie already, right? And yeah, I only read the first book, The Summer I Turned Pretty. So I haven't read the book two and three. But I will, guys. I will. <laughs> so cute. It's such a teenager story, but it's okay. I'm still a teenager by heart. <laughs> Oh, I have the Vampire Academy movie cover, and I read this way back again in high school, I think. 
I don't remember any more about this book. And this series has a lot of books again. So yeah, I only read this book. So to my mutuals who have read this book, this series, comment down below please if it's nice. Vampire Academy by Rachel Mead. Okay. And guys, this is my most recent haul. This is Jenny Hans to all the boys I've loved before. I haven't watched the P.S. I Still Love You movie because I told myself that I would be reading the books first before I watch the last movie. So yeah, after I think I'm gonna read this after Grisha or I don't know, whatever my mood tells me to. <laughs> yeah, so I got this for a cheap price. So thank you National Bookstore for um, putting this on sale, I think. So I'm gonna put the Shopee link for this on the description box. If you wanna buy this, it's new. It's the paperback collection of the To All The Boys I've Loved Before um, series. And yeah. So yeah, I still have to dust the other series, but you all know that I have the Folk of the Air, the Aquatar series, and of course my life my world, my universe, my Shadowhunters Chronicles books. So yeah, these are the books. Okay, those are cleaned. Yay! I think I'm done arranging my bookshelf. So this is what I did and I haven't found a Shadow and Bone book and since this is my current read um, it's here on the top so I could just like easily get it whenever I'm going to read it. I'm currently reading Siege and Storm so let's see until when I would be reading it. <laughs> but yeah I'm enjoying the story. I'm enjoying the Grisha verse. So yeah, I'll give an update about that when I finish the trilogy, the story. So yeah, of course, my TSC, I just can't stack them. They're too precious to be stacked. <laughs> Although all books are too precious to be stacked, but like, yeah, TSC, TSC is my main, so it should be there. It deserves the display on the bookshelf. <laughs> yeah. So sorry for the chicken background noises. It's so annoying. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like, leave a comment down below, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the notifications bell to be updated. So that's it for today's video. I hope you stay safe and I'll see you on the next booktube video.